Hey artists, in this video we're going to talk about our stained glass art project. The essential questions for this project are, what can we learn from stained glass artworks about the cultures and times they were created in? How can we use contemporary materials to recreate the look and feel of traditional stained glass? How can different colors and lines convey mood and meaning in stained glass art? What themes are we interested in illustrating with this material? For the rubric, the categories that you will be evaluated on include creativity, craftsmanship, your completion, understanding of stained glass concepts, your written artist statement, your studio etiquette, your Edpuzzle scores, and your Google Form Mastery Checks. The progress tracker for this unit, you're going to start off looking at 14 artist examples. You'll play a look at, you'll do compare and contrast activity. Then you'll do a Google Form Mastery Check for identifying stained glass artworks. You'll do an Edpuzzle about gallery glass paint. You'll choose a design by creating one or selecting a pre-made template. Then you'll do the black letting outline. After the outline dries, you will apply color. Then you can write your artist statement and take photographs of your artwork. You can share those photographs on Padlet and comment on your peer's artwork on Padlet. Then we can hang up our artwork in the window to display and move on to the next unit. Here's your project checklist. We're going to go over 14 artist examples. These artist examples all have different themes and some things that they have in common and some things that they have that make them stand out. If you're interested in reading more about some of these artists, you can click on this article from artsy.net. So this first artist is a contemporary artist. Her name is Soyeon Lee and she is a Korean artist who lives in Brooklyn and so she's somebody that's alive today. Kende Wiley is also a contemporary artist. He's somebody who is alive today and he focuses on portraiture. Sigmar Polk designed windows for the Zurich Grossmünster in 2009 and in these designs He's using a gate stones that have been artificially dyed and cut very thin to become these windows. Gerard Richter made these windows for the Cologne Cathedral in 2007 and they're very high up, but up close, they are little tiny squares. Judy Chicago created this scene called Rainbow Shabbat. Mark Chagall created this image called America Windows. Marianne Peretti created this windows for the Cathedral of Brasilia in 1989. Henri Matisse created these windows, Nuit de Noel in 1952. Joaquin Torres Garcia created this constructivist glass windows inside of this building and you can see how this is a close-up detail on the left of these panels that are um, very many of them. So this is just a small detail of a greater abstract piece. It's a lot of geometric, vertical, horizontal lines, diagonal lines. I see kind of a star shape over here in this area. I see a large circle shape, half of a circle, kind of a house shape. So kind of abstract geometrics. Joseph Albers also uses uh, stained glass art in geometric shapes, but they're really small 
rectangles and squares using very delicate play of color. More of Joseph Alper's work. Alphonse Mucha made really detailed portraits. So here's the whole window of the Prague St. Vitus Cathedral from 1931. And here's an up close detail. Louis C. Tiffany made this image, very realistic landscape of magnolias and irises. Victor Horta is an architect who created this stained glass ceiling in this hotel. Gives very luxurious hotel vibes. Gothic architecture often features rose windows like the Notre Dame Cathedral in France. 